Hi, and welcome back to Mystic Dude's second visiting to uh, Chess Royale. Uh, since I last posted me other video, I've played this quite a bit. I've put about probably 30 hours into it. There's been a couple of changes. So the first one is we've got heroes, and basically you level the level them up, and as you level them up, you get bonuses. So as you can see there with Griffin, I've got the first bonus plus 20% damage working towards level 15 and the way you level up is you've got to get tokens and it costs gold gold isn't a problem you get it anywhere uh, it's getting the tokens that's the odd bit you get the tokens from the boxes these which you can earn so many free shields or whatever they're called uh, silver medals as you can see there on the right zero of 250 left you get another f get so many every two and a half hours or so and then once you've got 100 you can open that box and same for this chest they're a bit harder to get you need 10 but you need to get six every every day and to get them your heroes will be marked with a shield this blue shield here and if you get in top 50 with that hero you'll get that one asia medal so since i last posted a video they've monetized it basically they give the game away for free they got a lot of people in playing it boom let's let's hit them for money so there's a, there's a shop now. You get this silver chest free once every day. The one on the left. As you can see, I've got 10 hours to wait for another one. And then obviously these you can buy. And this is where the money comes in. You buy them for these blue crystals, which are very rare to get in game. So obviously this is a monetization of it. And it's, look at that, 83 pound, ridiculous. Pay to win basically they're selling gold but there's no points of gold as you can see i've got twelve thousand there and i've nothing to spend it on because you want to use it when you level a, a hero up and you can't level the heroes up till you get the tokens so they've sort of shot themselves in the foot there uh not the best planning but no doubt there'll be uh people buying these uh I won't be partaking in any purchases. I can't stand monetization in games. But as you can see, I'm not doing so bad. I've got up to commander rank. So I've done all this. I'm going right back since I last posted a video. And that's just playing for free. And all these rewards here, as you can see, going along. You know, e even the, you know, crystals a few and far between you know you get you don't get a lot from the boxes to be honest look at that one rare token and if I go to a hero that's a rare you know he needs 20 of them so obviously you know they, 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 they want you to spend your money but taking that apart you can still have a bit of fun playing for free so Prior to making this video, I have just won two games in a row. I'm using Sandro, Raylag, and Ludmilla. And if we go on to the heroes, that one's got his first synergy boost. So plus 20%. And the first four to die will respawn. You'll see that during the game. And then he's got his synergy boost. And he's got his synergy boost so what we're going to do we're going to play i don't know what you call them icons but i call them s spider and demon yeah we'll call that a demon a wing demon so i'm going to play with them now i've just had two games and i've got two first place so we're going for three in a row but as usual when you make a video it all goes to crap but let's see Let's see if we can get it top 10. 
you need to get it into the top 25 i think or top 20 to get you your leveling up tokens and even if you win first place you only get 30. so it's a it's a long long drag so if you've got time to grind then fair enough but you know i suggest you just play it plug and play so this comes up a lot and never occurred no problem just restart it it's trying to link 100 people so it happens quite a bit it's no big deal it doesn't take time to restart it as you can see so it'll just populate the board now and let's say hello to everybody this is this is be an absolute dream for Sheldon from Big Bang Theory look at all these flags he would be drooling Yeah, so if you if you know your flags, you'll enjoy this game. So we start off with them. So straight away we've got a merge. So three three of the same ones. I'll give us a two star character, and we'll just respin that. I'll spin it again. So we'll just stick them on. So as you as you can see, I've got two spiders, two green spiders, and one purple demon on. On the left ear, I need to get them up to three each to get the bonus. And the heroes, you can click this here on the outside, and it'll tell you where you're up to with each hero. Each character starts with all three heroes. You can see the people have got. different ones in use, different levels. At this level now, it tends to match mate you of people of similar level. So if you come in as a beginner you won't be you won't be fighting people way way ahead of you. So I'm not gonna take another ghost just, just yet. Let's try and get these synergies up. So we'll take that Hydra bang now now Hydra as that dragon and what I tend to do is I put my characters around him it says that when the battle starts a random dragon grants 40 mana to nearby allies the mana you'll see the mana bars when they fill up each character will do uh, an ultimate ability or a stronger attack or something like that I don't know but uh, as you can see we're doing all right we've got through them first two fights pretty easy and you can keep track on your synergies and stuff there the bar at the top you can drop down and have a look where you are I'm highlighted in blue so you can compare yourself to everybody else I'll show you the rest of it when we get back on the screen. So that's not bad, I can merge my vampire. So now he's a two star vampire. And if we click on him, you can see, because them numbers are highlighted in green, it means he's getting a, a buff from the synergy. Same with that ghost. We click on the harpy, the harpy is in white because this synergy is not active yet. We need another we need another dragon uh, demon. Spells will become available now. The spells aren't great today. The spells change. I don't know if they're weekly or daily. I think they're daily. Uh, but you've got to balance up your uh, your choice of buying new characters 
or leveling up so you can use more or buying the spells so it's uh, a bit of RNG on what comes up on the board if you get lucky at the beginning and you, like there I got really lucky I don't want the orcs but I, I got lucky there so I can basically two star that RP so what I'll do now is that I haven't got another one but I'll level that up ready for next time Stick that trog on for now, just because it gives us now the, dun the dungeon free free bonus. So that'll spawn a random ally. You'll see him spawn on the board there in corner, bottom right. And off his run. Uh, they don't have a lot of health. They don't last long, but at least they take the attention away from your main characters, your main army characters. NPCs. What are we going to call them? Troops. We'll call them troops. So yeah, as you can see, there's more information on this. What people are taking. The other thing I've noticed as well is uh, as you're leveling up, you tend to see the same names all the time because obviously they're playing and leveling up at a similar place, pace to you. So that was alright there. We'll... Let's have a look. We'll take that trog just on the off chance. Get another one. We can always sell him. We don't really want the trog on this setup. We're looking for the, the ranged attack, the stalker. That'll give us our keepers with our free set on the dungeon. We're not really bothered about getting any of these other ones up. We need this spider up so we can get the bonus there. So with the spider bonus and uh, the dungeon bonus, the purple dragon one, we'll get extra mobs spawning. And we'll also get an, uh, an increased evade as well. You'll see that in a, in a few seconds, hopefully. And this is where Nicole all disappears. And it all goes to cock. Ah, the lich. Right. Right, so we'll swap the trog out. Put a lich in. Oops. So now you can see we've got the free. We've got the bonus from the spider. But we've lost the bonus from the dragon because I had to tempor temporarily take this shrug off. But the troops, as we're calling them, were strong enough to win that. And we're in top 40 already and we've not lost a line. There's a couple of others that are on free, as you can see. Now there is bots that play this, obviously, to fill up their numbers. And I, I don't know, you can never spot them. I mean... Could that be a bot there with 25 gold? Why have they got all this gold? And if they're not spending gold, how are they getting fruit at later levels? I don't know. So, right, we can merge our vampire. If you get three doubles, by the way, so you get, once you get three of a, a troop, you get a double star. You can see the two white stars, and that increases the stats. If you get three double stars of the same troop, 
then you get a gold star. You get three gold stars on it, which is the max. So effectively, you'd have to buy nine of the same troop to get that. It's uh, it's very hard to chase. It's one of those. If you get lucky, go for it. But don't necessarily chase it because you'll just end up wasting all your gold and you, you'll end up late again. You'll be too low a level. Right, so that's an extra two star on our spider. So that's that's pretty good. Now we've got eight gold left, and it's going to cost eight gold to level up. So. I think we'll use that just to get our bonus back on there, the dungeon bonus. There wasn't anything in shop there and we'll refresh that next time. Now, as you can see he's bought a spell up there. So the spells here today. Well we beat him before I had a chance to show you that was quick nobody's them are the, them are the gold stars you can see nobody's got any of them yet Need that uh, stalker. Yeah. There we go. That's it. Get that stalker. Put it. Put him on. We'll take the drug off. We don't need the drug now. We'll sell him. He's, he's done his job and he's moved on. Now we'll be looking for a bone dragon next. Find that lich. Three lives left, and we're into top 13. Or will it be less than that? We are pretty, pretty good. Only a couple on one life. Yeah. Oh, we'll buy that stalker for a chance of doubling him up. There's a, as you can see, there's a, an epic troop there, a legendary, whatever you want to call him. But he's not got the right synergies for us. So we don't want him, we want the Born Dragon one. Right, we've got that, which is nice. We're out of gold. But the Lich is now doubled up. At, so, it's pretty strong. We romp that one. When you get into the top 10, you can buy the higher spells. That's maybe the time then to start thinking about your gold management. If, you cheer, if you're still chasing troops to double up, you might not be able to afford the spells, but if you've been lucky enough to double them up earlier, you could buy the spells. Well, at the moment, we're looking for another stalker here. And we got one. That was lucky. So we're now all doubled up there. So we could buy a spell. We are remaining four. Or we could think ahead and level up. And we'll think ahead and level up. So, if we do get a Bone Dragon, which costs five gold, we can stick him straight onto the board. We 
The reason I'm after a born dragon is because he's uh, he's got the synergy for the uh, green spider. We need to find out what that's called, don't we? Instead of calling it green spider. Right, he's level 10, so he's going to have a lot more mobs on, on the field than me. So I need to get uh, at least one more mob out. And we're not going to see a born dragon, are we? Oh, there we are. Oh, we're waiting to get one then. Lacking on spells compared to everybody else, but hopefully because we've got quite a few doubles and we've still got our synergy bonus, the extra damage from our troops should carry us past the spells. Right, here we are in top six now. Little Forever still got three, and he's running elves. He'll be tough to beat him. If he's got six of them on, well, they'll be tough to beat. But oh, we'll give it a crack. I'm going to buy a spell just this time around just to show you. So this is the level six spell. So it casts a damage wave at the beginning. So 500, 700. So if we buy one, that's 500. We'll buy the next one. So we're on 700 damage. If we get it to level 3, it'll be 900. And that really helps us there, because that, that spell damages the furthest force, so if people have put their ranged on the back line we're gonna wait them right so we'll up, upgrade to level nine we're just looking for it any spider mob now doesn't matter which right so we've got a bone dragon there so we'll sell the vampire so we can afford the Born Dragon. Let's stick it up front, make it nice and tidy. Yeah? Doing all right. We've not had much trouble at the moment. I'm just worried about this guy here. This little forever. So he's level ten. He's running elves. He's got a, a treble spell. So we're gonna have to treble eyes up just to match it. I'm going to make sure I'm level 10 next time. He's already 10. If we manage to double that Born Dragon up, that'll give us a spot on board, but the Born Dragons cost 5, so... Let's see how we do. Got off to a good start. As you can see at the top, that's the health bars going down. So we did alright, three lives against one. And we've got room to put another troop on the board, yeah. There we go, so we're at ten now. So I'll just buy that. That's the backup. And there we go, we got the 
bombs back in. Let's see what we're going to put on. I'll have to just stick these two lobbies on. Better to put one on than nothing. If something attacks him, then it obviously it's not attacking. Different mob. Logic says if we beat him last time and we've doubled the bone dragon up, we should beat him again. And there we go. What's the chance of that? When you're making a video. So that reward there, you can see, just stop short. It tends to do that a lot. You're always just a bit short just to tempt you to. Oh, just have one more game. You can see we got 50 medals. These are just stats at the end of the game. And that's them uh, going in. So we can open a box now. So let's see what's in the box. So as you can see, she got 40 tokens, but still way short to 150 to level her up. One of them, like I said earlier, you, you need a lot. You only get one here and there. And then you get your gold coins, which, like I say, are pretty much pointless because unless you, you know, you've got the tokens to, uh, to level up. You know, unless you've got the hero shard, you can't use the gold. You know, so you, you tend to collect more gold than you spend. So why are they selling it in the shop? But well, no doubt they will realise soon and try and uh, bring something in to monetize that. And that, guys, is it for Might and Magic Chess Royale for now? There is another chess battler that I've, I've seen on the scene that's on steam it looks exactly the same as this the way it plays uh, there's a few tweaks a few variations on it I might give that a go and do a video on that one uh, but yeah for now hope you enjoyed the video Mystic Dude out